Hey, welcome back. This is a quick video on how to set up the latest version of uh, the building blocks add-on that I've created. It's very similar to the very popular geometry nodes, procedural buildings. So this is on uh, procedural as well. Um, but it's an add-on for Blender. It doesn't really use geometry nodes at all, but lots of geometry in programming. So um, anyways, what you want to do is just get rid of everything, even this collection, uh, if you want. But um, once you have that installed, uh, you can just hit N for the side panel here, come here. Um, I think initially everything will be maybe like this, I don't know. But um, this first panel here is just for you to set up your collections. So I'm, I'm going to do this most, the simplest one. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. So if you build this, you get these collections here. Um, and it's very simple. Um, but uh, we're going to quickly create something. So you want to come here to your main window and we're going to build a cube and we're going to make it one meter cube. Um, and then you want to raise it on the z-axis just 0.5. That will make sure that it's basically just sitting on the ground floor level at zero. And then select that cube again. You want to set the origin point um, to the 3D cursor. That's going to make sure that it's sitting right in the center of it. That's pretty important for every single instance that we're going to create. That's kind of like the main thing that keeps everything nice and organized and even. And so um, once you have that set up, you just you can just come here and copy these. Meme, hey, can you come down? Can you not talk for a second, honey? Uh, yeah, sorry, my kid is <laughs> in the background. But uh, so um, take this cube, put it in here. Each get, each one of these gets its own little cube, except for the light. The light is actually a light. So come in here, grab a light, and it's already in there. So what you want to do now is just start modeling these guys out a little bit. Okay, so the way you find, there's two faces that you want to use for modeling. And the way you figure what those are out, if you hit the seven and you come to this top view, it's the face that's pointing upwards on the Y axis um, and the one to the left. So if you come down like that, it's these two. So if you come here in edit mode, these are the two you want to to adjust. So I'm gonna quickly model something out. Uh, then you're gonna basically just come here and make a new material, call it I don't know base or whatever. You're gonna make a new um, a new material. We're gonna call this one glass. But, so we're just assigning it to the glass shader here. And then when you come here, um, select that and assign it to the glass material. So, and you should already begin to see that if you come here to the shader options, um, you can see you have yourself uh, like a little window facing thing. Um, and and that's it. So this is a really simple little design. Um, okay, so once you have your little window modeled out that however you want, um, and in fact, while we're here, I'm just gonna you just quickly go to the shader options, take a look at this glass here, and we're just gonna quickly add another shader transparent one. And if you have Node Wrangler enabled, you can just do Control Shift and right click and then it creates that for you and that's super nice and then you can't really see anything until you come down here under the glass under blend mode send it to blend uh, and then you begin to see what's 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 it doing which is pretty cool so you have something that you like we don't need that anymore corner um 
for the sake of uh, just modeling something out here for the tutorial, I'm just gonna quickly do something like this. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna just gonna extrude along the faces. So I, I hope people know how to model things out, but if you don't, that's other Wait, tutorials you can find out how to do Wait, that stuff. What are you doing people well, do? I'm talking I'm I'm doing a tutorial for people to watch. Can you please uh, stop? Yeah. Okay, so um that's that. And now we're doing the roof. This is the simple version of the roof. It's best just to keep it as a cube. Um, and then item. Item is anything you want to put inside of your window or your wall, or it could it could be so many different things. But um, usually this could be something that could be on the outside of the building. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna go into edit mode in our items, and I'm gonna shrink it down. And I'm gonna bring it outside here. Go to this wall where we're almost touching it. So it's do something like this. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Something like this, I don't know. And just push those over. This is, I don't know what kind of a air conditioning unit this is but uh it's a new one it's really fancy Whoa. so once you have that done you it, the reason i go in edit mode to move everything is to keep the origin point there if you want to move in object mode you can you just need to remember to go back and set the origin to the cursor okay so that's that we can close that guy out the last thing is just the light um easiest way to understand that is uh, just turn on your main wall again and put a light here you can go to render mode and see what it looks like you can set um, the color maybe I don't know something more tungsten like a little brighter um, and uh, that's it really um, so once you have that done, you can close both of these out like this and uh, essentially you can build your building right here. So like that. And you have some lights, some walls, so like you can control how many lights you have like this. And we can turn this off just to see things a little better. Um, and, uh, you know, um, maybe what we can do too is just add a sun. There we go. And then I'll just uh, make sure that I'm just going to do this real quick. Um, okay, so you have a sun. I think there's something happening. I need to put a sun in, or put any lights or other things in this collection, in, in just any collection, just so it's outside of this. But once you hit build, um, we have our little building that we made. Um, and you can set the, you know, the, uh, the width and the length and the height um, and then the extras are these little AC units that we have so you can set <laughs> that's just made like a million of them um, it really it's I it's pretty amazing it doesn't slow things down that much but you don't need that 200 um, but yeah I, I don't know I think it's really cool add-on so this is a really, really simple building design. So that's that. I hope you like that. Um, I'm going to now show you a different project that is a little more advanced than this. Um, and uh, 
kind of see it, which is walk you through what I did. So if you come here and you click on penthouse and advanced options um, and advertising and sidewalk, those are additional selections that you can that you can make uh, or collections that you can add to have more detail and to have more customization over your your building. So I showed you the very simple one. This is a little more detailed one. And I'll show you. So a penthouse, uh, where is that? It, it's kind of like the, the top of the buildings. Do you know how in the top of the buildings, like they usually have like a, a nicer looking thing. So that's what these, that's what this is. Um, and if you're curious as to what the crap's inside this house, um, there's a really cool, uh, oh shoot, this one's all built in. So I'll show you, I think in the wall, I might have two. Yeah, okay. So the wall, one, uh, if I hide this, this little cube here comes from a project from Ian Hubert uh, from his Robot Soup website. If you look up Ian Hubert Robot Soup, you probably find it. There's a, it's a free download to these amazing little rooms. Um, and they're usually uh, a lot wider than this, uh, something more like that. But I just make them one by one just to fit inside my, my little house here. The cool part of it is that you can control the orange tint and and the saturation of these windows. Um, so there's and every time this gets duplicated, it creates a new different version of it. So it's it's very cool. I'll show you what it looks like once you once you get it all set up like this. Um, the only other part I think that's important to remember is so when you're building your roof, the roof is just a cube like this. And then when you have to add the roof edge, you want to make sure that the height of both of those is the same. And then you just extrude that, that edge only on this face. Um, and, uh, and then the corner just has both edges extruded, but the same height as well. That will keep everything nice and, and even throughout your model. Um, and, and that's really some of the most important stuff when you're building, um, uh, the billboard like this, like I have this cool billboard here. You want to make sure that, um, and of course, this could be anything that you that you model out and make. It doesn't have to be this. I just found this online, and then I put a, a, a thing on it. But um, you want to make sure that it's at the same height as the roof, right here. And you can do the roof edge. Make sure you don't hit that or something. But and that's that's super important. That that's so. It, it feels like it's touching the ground it's not floating or anything and again everything is set to this origin here at the center and once you have that billboard um, sidewalk is the same deal if you bring out the wall you see it's right next to it in the front you only need one in the front like this and then you need a corner for the sidewalk and the corner looks like this so as long as you set these up like this, like I have it here, it'll all it'll wrap around your building really nicely. Now, finally, let's build it and see what it looks like. And there you go. And um, so this building looks a lot better than the other one, obviously. But so, and uh, it's really cool. You can. The extras are those little uh, windows, like vent things. Um, you can go pretty close. The detail is really good because these are all from Quixel. Um, it's all from this thing right here, guys. If you haven't been here, you need to come here. Get the uh, Quixel bridge, and you can literally import models straight into Blender. Um, pretty amazing. And that's where I got these. Uh, all of these um, so with that I just that I'll do it that's a whole nother separate tutorial on how to make these but you just take these and they're pretty big but then you just kind of shrink them down to fit 
as best as you can into a one meter cube. And then you can basically uh, recreate like your own buildings with their model, which is pretty awesome. Um, and uh, and then if you notice inside each window, there's a you know different looking room. Um, all of that can be controlled with that node setup from Ian, which is amazing. I think it's like the best use of, of that, that project that he made forever ago that he gives out. Um, you have now the pent floor levels. So nothing on the pent, on the, the penthouse floors has the, the ACs. They, they're only in the bottom levels. So the, these are more the fancier windows and all that stuff. Um, and, uh, but you can still just, you know, add all this stuff. So you have some roof items. These, these look a little weird because the tubes don't go anywhere, but, um, you can increase how many roof items you want. And, uh, there's that banner Coca-Cola. Um, oh, and the sidewalk, the sidewalk is from pixel as well. It looks freaking amazing. Whoa. Uh, it's really well done. And, uh, yeah, but I mean it's uh it's a, it's a cool start to this add-on. The last thing I'm going to add for this is a base here so that you actually have an entryway with a door and stuff. Like this this whole bottom uh, this whole bottom of the building would actually be up a floor or two and you would have like an entryway and storefronts for for or you know, a garage or something. Um that's really the last thing that this is missing, but I hope you enjoy this tutorial wasn't too long and then uh, you can um, you can make your own buildings so all right take care